All right, welcome back to Naval Action, guys. I decided to throw this quick video together after having some PvP experience today. I was not planning on making this video. I was actually in the works of making a different video that I thought would help the new players. But after doing some PvP today, um, came to my attention that this video might be a little bit more helpful. Quite a few new players out there. We actually ran out uh, early today doing some PvP with uh, average gamer mark and a couple of our friends we took out some decent sized ships not too much was going to be able to challenge us we ran across a lot of new players we sank a lot of new players there was a lot of seal clubbing going on now I already started this video kind of decided to try and redo it a little bit because I kind of ranted for a minute and uh, no one wants to hear me rant but the main reason for me deciding to throw this video out before the other one I was working on was because of the ship wood types that we were coming across. Again, a lot of new players out there, some buying these brand new DLC ships. I would say we sank probably seven, seven to eight DLC ships today, and those were what were kind of worrisome to me and uh, to our friends because DLC ships are the ships you buy off of Steam. Those are You pay real money for those. They're redeemable. You redeem them each and every day. And when you redeem them, they give you the option to choose the wood type that you want to build that ship out of. You can choose. And that's what's important is it gives you the option of either regular wood or seasoned wood for free each day. Now, this video is not going to be too quick, but hopefully it will cover the wood types that you guys need to be choosing for these seasoned ships. Uh, for, even for crafting ships. This, this video is basically for the new players. Again, we came across so many new players that we've, we've never seen. The clans that we've never seen. They're from all different nations. And it was just surprising to us that we would capture a DLC ship. For, per se, this leopard we came across was, I think, Seasoned Oak Bermuda. Seasoned Oak Bermuda. Now, you understand that he had to have redeemed that ship. No one handed it to him. He didn't capture it. You cannot capture a DLC ship off another player and take it into open world. It, it doesn't work that way. So this guy had to have redeemed the ship that way. Seasoned Oak Bermuda Cedar. It makes no sense. Now that wasn't the only thing we'd come across. We'd obviously sunk a lot of players who had uh, been selling around captured AI ships. Now that's your choice. They're not going to be the best ships, but we understand if you're a new player, you're going to end up capping some ships, running around in those, getting sunk in those. I understand. Uh, it's the DLC ships that really got us worried. Because after that, we had also come across a DLC victory. It was a 1765 or something. We had boarded the guy, sunk his ship, looked at it, and it was a teak teak, non-seasoned. Now, I don't care how new you are. This guy's obviously been playing long enough to be able to crew that ship. Why would he have not seasoned that? It's free. It is for free that you can season these ships. It doesn't cost you anything. There is absolutely no excuse whatsoever to not season these ships. An accident's one thing, but this is honestly for all you new players out there. Please watch this. Uh, season your dang ships. Uh, hopefully this helps you pick what wood types you're supposed to be going after. Hopefully this helps you... Uh, Decide what you need to do with these ships and not make the same mistakes of uh, taking out these unseasoned ships. It's DLC, guys, and at the very least, you can break them up. So, to start off, let's explain just a little bit of the woods here. <sighs> I've grabbed whatever little woods I could to kind of just go over them. These are your, a lot of your basic wood types. We're going to pull them up right here. Now, I didn't grab every wood that's in the game, but most of them. Some woods are built, are used specifically for crafting ships. Other woods um, are not built for crafting the ships, but built for the trim and the uh, oh, whatever else you use it for. Some of these woods are good, and again, this changes, in which is exactly why I don't, I didn't really want to make these videos beforehand. And this is not going to be an in-depth video. I want to make sure that is clear. This is this is going to be just a quick, basic one. Uh, in depth, I can, I can go a little bit more over what woods go with what, but uh, some woods you just don't use for specific ships. You, you just don't do it, and some woods are used only for specific ships. 
and for specific purposes. So right here, I've got each one. And now I just grabbed one of almost every seasoned, a few that are not seasoned, just to kind of show. You can't compare them on here. Um, we'll go over a comparison here in a minute. But you have each of these. You have fir, Bermuda cedar, mahogany. That's teak, oak log. It's just a locust. Uh, same over here, locusts, sabacu, live oak, white oak log, another teak, and another sabacu. Now, so you don't get these mixed up. Um, I will have to go over that as well. But let's start off with fir. This is fir log. Now, this is a seasoned one. You can obviously have non-seasoned. Fir log is used for building ships. Anytime you build a ship, you need fir log to build a ship ship whenever you craft it now maybe you're a new player and you're not into the building sp spot of, of this game yet but there are other players who you're asking them hey can you build me a ship can you craft me a ship for you and they're going to build that now what one thing they need is fur they need fur log is an essential wood to craft any ship in this game you have to have it now this is seasoned when you have seasoned that is not built that is not used for crafting the ship itself Whenever it is a seasoned wood, that is what the wood type, the trim, is going to come out as, is a seasoned ship. Now, fur S is, a, is the fastest wood types you can build in this game. You do not get, again, you don't get both fast and tanky at the same time. You get one or the other. Fur S is the weakest wood that you can have in this game at the moment. It is extremely fast, though. You use fur S for crafting your trade ships your trader brig, your Indianman, your, your trader snow, oh, not, not trader snow, no one builds those, your trader's links. You, if you have a very fast one and you don't want to lose it, then you use seasoned. You don't even have to use the seasoned. You can still use regular fur to build your trader links out of. And you're, it's, that's how you're going to get the fastest trade ships. And you want trade ships to be fast. You do not want a crew, sh a crew space on a trade ship. You're not getting any speed out of that. Trade ships need to be fast so that when you see that enemy player, you can book it as fast as you can and hope you can get it to the nearest port. So for S is used for speed. It has no armor. It has no hit points. One cannonball is going to go straight through your ship, and if it doesn't catch fire, you're probably going to get a leak and sink anyway. That is how poor, poorly armored fur log is. You, you don't craft a fighting ship out of fur S Unless you're, an ex you're a seasoned player, you know what you're doing, you're building it for a specific reason. Most people don't use for S unless they're going to tra chase down trade ships. And then again, in that case, they know to sink anything smaller than them and run like hell with anything that's their same size or bigger than them. Any ship that's bigger than them, they're going to book it because they know one broadside's the end of them. That's it. For S, you do not use it unless you're building a trade ship or regular fur for crafting an actual ship. Now, if you're looking for speed, that's what we'll go over. I'm going to kind of put the, the wood, the type of woods next to each other that you kind of want to match up. On your DLC ships, any DLC ship that you're crafting, and you're going for specifically speed but no armor, right here, Bermuda Cedar, Mahogany. Now, you can do Bermuda Cedar, Bermuda Cedar if you want. It just has a teeny bit more HP, teeny bit more more armor than for S. So it's literally one step up. That's really not much. So if you really want to have a tad bit more HP, you add that mahogany S in there. So Bermuda Cedar and Mahogany, those are going to be your your basic speed built ships. Now they're again, those are not ships where you want to sit there and take a broadside. They can survive one to two broadsides depending upon what ship is shooting at you. But those are for fast ships where you can get in, shoot something, get out of there. They have no armor. Now let's head over here. If you want to go the opposite direction, say you're looking for a tanky ship. Now for you new players, you're going to want to build your DLC ships out of as tanky material as possible to go out there and do your PvE to sink your AI. Because those AI ships, they only shoot charged shots, which means it's going to pen. So you don't want to be taking speed ships out against an AI that are going to easily pen you anyway, and they're going to reload faster than you. You're going to want your tanky, sh your tanky build. Now that's what Locust S is for. Locust and Live Oak. These are your two armored up wood types. These are what you're going to use for armored ships. Now if you want, you need HP as well. You want your Sabaku and your White Oak. You can't use um, 
uh, locust and live oak as HP. They're not HP built. These are your armor woods. These are what you're going to have on the outside of your ship. These are what are going to bounce the shots off your ship. These are, these are what you're going to be looking for when it comes to thickness. These build the thickness of your ship. The HP is going to be your Sabaku and your White Oak. So a very easy, typical build if you're going to go out and do PvE and in a DLC ship, you're always going to want to do your Locust, Sabaku, or your Live Oak, White Oak. And then you can compare these on the Netliffy map. And you can see which one maybe you prefer. One's got a teeny bit more HP than the other one. One's actually got, I think, 2% more armor thickness than the other one as well. So now if you're that player, you're going, well, I want something as close to the middle as possible. I want something that's going to be kind of in the middle of tankiness and speed. Again, you can't get one without the other. Uh, so here's a basic build that a lot of people go for is this TKS Sabaku. This is a basic build that if you don't know what you want, you don't know. You're like, well, you know, I, I, I want to be somewhat fast, but I want to be able to at least survive a few shots. Um, I want to be faster than the slow ships, but I want to be able to take a hit from the little ships. Then you're going to go with your Teak Sabaku. Now, again, these are seasoned. Seasoned wood is like taking the regular wood. So let's do that. Taking the regular wood here of, of any wood type. And think of injecting steroids into it. That's really all it is. It's just buffering it up a little bit more. So you're, you're, you're basically buffing the ship. Because see, here's a regular teak log. Here's a regular teak. And this is a seasoned teak. Now on here, on paper, you're not seeing any difference. Same weight, same ship can carry. You're not seeing anything different. It really is the difference once you use the wood to craft the ship. You can compare these two. If you, can compa if you compare these two, there will be a difference in percentages on which one can take more hits, which one's got more armor, which one's got more HP. A regular locust, lo a locust log is going to have 10% less armor than a seasoned locust. That's the stuff you need to pay attention to. But here's the thing. You, c you don't mix the shiz up the wrong way. That's what's important. You do not take a seasoned, or you don't take a teak log, and mix them. This Do the opposite way. You don't do a Sabaku Teak. You, you do not do that because the Sabaku, that's your HP. That is your hit points. That's, you, you want the outside of your ship to have the armor, and that's where the Teak is. The Teak has the armor. Uh, it has a little bit of speed and a little bit of armor on there, not too much. It can take a hit, but you know what? It doesn't have the HP. So you don't want that on the inside. What use is that going to be to you? You're going to just get sunk because you, you've now lowered your speed of your ship and you've put your HP on the outside and they're just going to shoot you to death because you can't bounce anything with, with Sabaku. Sabaku does not bounce. It does not have the armor. It doesn't have the thickness. You, it does not have the thickness of your ship. That's your HP. You don't want to mix these up. You have to have Teak, Sabaku, not Sabaku, Teak. Say you can't. Luckily, you can't switch these two idiots up. Um, a lot of people will even switch these here. And do nowadays, I mean, you can do Live Oak Sabaku because, again, that Sabaku is your hit points. That's your, that's your hit points. You want that on the inside. And your Live Oak, that's your sturdy, thick wood. Nothing's going to be able to pen you too much from a distance. Now, obviously, if a ship gets close enough at 100 meters, it's going to pen you no matter what. It does not matter what wood you have. At that point, at point blank range, broadside to broadside, the person who is going to survive the most is the person with the most HP. And that HP is going to come from your Sabaku and your White Oak. If you go broadside, broadside against some person that has mahogany on the inside of their ship, they are going to melt like butter, almost as bad as fur log. Again, it just melts like butter. It's nothing. It has no H has, does not have much HP. It has no armor, absolute nothing there for you. So... For all you new players out there who are buying the DLC ships, you're buying the Redoubtables, the Victory 1776, I think, whatever it is, the Ratvisen, the Leopards. Now, I'm, I'm going to do separate videos on ships. That's way down the road. I'm too damn lazy to do it at this moment. But there's so many things that you have to take into contrast of each of these ships, the cannons that go on them, the penetration, the reload. What, what ship has more armor? And you go against a ship, you're going to notice the difference when you shoot at a ship that's Live Oak Sabaku or Locust Sabaku. 
compared to shooting at a ship that's teak white, a ship that's teak white oak going broadside to broadside against a locust sabaku, you're going to notice the difference. This guy right here with the teak white oak, he's going to get, he's going to lose a lot more hit points. He's going to not be able to bounce as much, but I'll tell you what, this, this teak white oak, he's going to outrun that locust sabaku any day. He will outrun him. He's going to go faster. He's going to have more speed on his side. So maybe you can get in there, get a broadside in and out. And if you notice, well, this guy is too tanky for me. He's going to beat the tar out of me. You can turn tail and book it, and you're going to outrun. You're going to outrun this Locust Abaku. That's going to help you new players. Because I swear, if I come across another leopard that is seasoned oak, unseasoned Sabaku, I am just going to lose it. It's ridiculous. This right here is oak log. Oak log is just like fur log, only it's just a tad bit difference. You need oak logs to craft ships. You do not craft your ship out of oak log. You use the oak log to build the ship. Now, when it's seasoned, obviously that has to be craftable. That is a waste of everything. Oak log falls in between nothing. Oak log has no hit points, it has no armor, yet it has no speed. It has nothing. It is a waste of a log. You Don't destroy it, obviously. Don't throw it away. Sell the stuff, because there are idiots out there who buy it, like me. I buy it and build, I build PV, no, what is it? PZ zone ships. If I have a shitload of oak log, and I have no knowledge slot, like on my Pavel, I built a Pavel out of seasoned oak, seasoned oak, because I had, I think, almost 10,000 seasoned oak log just sitting around. And I had no knowledge slots on the ship. Well, I wanted to open up some knowledge slots, so I wanted to suicide. I decided I'll take my stupid little Pavel out and go suicide and get as much experience as possible. What can I craft it out of? I crafted it out of this oak because it's useless. It is, it is terrible wood. Don't even bother with it. Now, obviously, those seasoned players out there, you might disagree with a lot of this. You have your own opinions and your own suggestions on what to build. But for you new players, when you're asking questions and you're wondering, what do I build my ship out of? If you don't know, I am going to suggest 100% Teak uh, Sabaku. Do that Teak Sabaku. Now, if you're, rede if you're redeeming a ship as a DLC ship, use that Seasoned Teak Seasoned Sabaku. That is going to buff your ship. It's going to give it somewhat more speed than the slow tanky guys and just a, and a lot more HP than those, those super fast Bermuda Cedar Mahogany speedsters that zip around and and they can catch you but the second you broadside them they go ouch that freaking hurt i'm getting the hell out of here because broadside to broadside a seasoned teak seasoned sabaku will outdo out dps a bermuda cedar mahogany and it will outrun a locust sabaku that is why you, you that is why it's just kind of a basic a lot of players go with that it's the one i suggest for you to start off with the more seasoned you get into this game, the uh, the more experienced you get, you'll be able to start seeing, well, what wood types work better for me? What do I want? Do I want a little bit faster? Because some people will start mixing the mahogany and the teak. Some people will start using Sabaku because they know that Sabaku is the HP. They'll start using that with Bermuda. Sure, it's going to slow you down, but it's a little bit more HP. You can find that out. But if I am to redeem, so let's so let's see here. So whenever you redeem a ship, I want to make sure this is clear so you guys don't get these mixed up. Oh, actually, before I go over that, one more thing. There are rare woods in this game. They are extremely expensive. Now, as if the seasoned woods aren't expensive enough, if you don't have that much money, these are hard enough to get your hands on. That's why most people break up their seasoned ships to just pull, get the logs. There are rare woods in the game, and I'm not going to go over them too much. I'm just going to uh, show you real fast. These are your rare woods. Green heart, Danzig oak, African oak, African teak, New England fir, Malabar teak. Now, you'll know they're rare. They've got this little bar. The devs put these little orange bar next to them just to kind of show you, hey, special. These are special woods. That's what they're called. You usually get these for special things. Um, the developers either hand them to you. You can actually get them out of some ports, but they're extremely expensive. I think someone wanted to sell me Danzig Oak. 700 logs, just 700 of this was 10 million. 10 million reals in this game for just 700 of this Danzig Oak. 
that's a lot to to the experienced players who have a ton of money. That's pocket change. But for most of you new players, you're not going to get ten million in a day. You can if you really go out and trade a shitload, but it's it's difficult. Building a ship, a nice ship out of these woods, usually costs up around fifty million, fifty million reals in game. If you put the right modules on that, that even gets higher. That golden Christian that they just handed you for Christmas, the devs just handed you for that. People um, obviously can't redeem them out of these, but they put the right mods on there and it's gold and they have the right cannons. Sucker can go up to almost 100 million reals in this game. So the reason these are so expensive is either these are hyped up. You think the seasoned woods are good. You get your hands on these rare woods and instead of thinking of woods being uh, injected with steroids, it's, it's like putting the Hulk together on some of these. Some of the the real big ones. Uh, I know the New England fur. That's for speed. That goes faster. You can make faster ships than you can out of uh, seasoned fur, with the New England fur. But again, these are extremely expensive woods. I wouldn't even bother. I haven't even built many ships out of the season, out of these rare woods yet. They're basically uh, port ornaments. But that's what they are. Um, I wouldn't worry about them now as a new player. Hold on to them. If you need to make a lot of money, you can sell these. But make sure you get a good price for them don't let someone con you out of these and say oh hey i'll give you like five thousand reals for a, for a couple of logs no no these things go for almost ten thousand a log some of them so with that said i'm going to show you to redeem correctly a ship here let's start off with this rat feasin i've already got one i'm going to redeem another one i'm going to send that puppy to fleet now go up here again to my redeemables this is after you've bought it. Go down, find your Rat Vison. I'm going to redeem the Rat Vison. Yes, I do want to. Frame. That's the word I was looking for. Frame and planking. This is what you want on your outside is the frame here. This is what you want as either your, your thickness or your speed module. So if I want it to be thick, a slow-ass tanky ship, I'm going to go for my Locust S. And I want some HP. I want to have a lot of hit points on this puppy. So I'm going to go for my seasoned Sabaku. That is what that needs to look like. If you want a tanky ship to take out against AI, this is actually what we use during port battles. The port battles, and you'll see the big players on all those videos, they're using locust, seasoned locusts, seasoned Sabaku. That's what their ships are built of. So they can take those broadsides, take damage, and deal damage. If I want it to be faster, I want to do that to Bermuda Cedar. Again, this is a DLC ship. You should not even be bothering with these non-seasoned woods. Go up here and grab a seasoned frame, seasoned Bermuda, seasoned mahogany. That is going to be one of your basic speed builds, if that's what you're looking for, right there. That is how you want that frame on the outside. Think of planking on the inside. You do not want to mix these up. Making a mahogany Bermuda changes the things just so slightly. You might not notice a difference. But you still you just do it the right way as a new player. Once you get more experience, you'll see the differences in what you're looking for. Again, you do not want to make the mistake of going, oh well, you know, I want it fast, so I'm gonna put mahogany, but I also want it kind of tanky, so I'm gonna put um seasoned I don't know, seasoned white oak. I wouldn't don't don't even bother. It's not worth or actually no, what was the other one I was looking at? The oak. Oh my gosh, don't people put oak planking. You're just you're just shooting yourself in the foot. Just like this build, if you ever go Season Bermuda Cedar, or no, 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 what was it? Season Locust. I think that's when I ran across a Season Locust, and then you try and do Bermuda Planking. You're shooting yourself in the foot. You are not getting speed nor armor. You're making yourself easy to sink. You might as well sink this ship right off the docks. It is no use. You have no hit points. You have little armor. Your inside's going to get destroyed before the outside. You will not move. You're not fast in any way. You do not want your speed builds on the inside for no reason and then put a tanky thing on the outside. This is a waste of time. Do not waste your DLC ships this way. Even to break them up, even break them up is a waste of time. So do not make that mistake. I am seriously, let's see, if I want to redeem one, just a regular... Regular good thing to use each and every day. If I was going to the patrol zone, well, not even that on the patrol zone. TKS, 
Fabric OS, this is what you should be building most of your DLCs out of to run out each and every day, or even to break up. So that's what we would redeem. And then you'd click OK. Do I really want to redeem it here? Eh, why not? Redeem. Let's see if we got anything special. Nope. There we go. Season T cap. Oh, sturdy. Sturdy is going to be your trim. Gives me just a teeny bit more HP. What do you do? 13. And yeah, let's even compare these. Why not? Because this other one's a speed build. Let's go up and down, I guess. There we go. TKS, I did Bermuda Hess, Mahogany. I got very fast trim. It's going to give me that little extra speed. Here's the difference. 12 point 92 to 1442 and this is even slower just because i have medium guns on there and i have crap modules but still look at the difference in speed it's quite a bit that's two full knots more than the, than this idiot up here but look at the hp sides you know 3000 more hp out of this puppy your thickness 17 to 7 these are big things. These are what you need to be looking at. Your thickness, your hit points. This is what the woods mean. Any of you idiots out there that just takes an oak crew space, you're going to have less hit points, less thickness. The only thing you'll have is maybe a tad bit more crew. You'll have no speed. You'll be slower than both of these, and anyone can sink you. You are nothing but a floating waste of time target. A, a little piece of wood with a sail on it. That's all you are if you do the oak crew space. Again, a more experienced player might take a crew spaced ship for their own pleasure whatever but I'm just trying to help you guys out don't make these mistakes start off with the usual teak sabaku that's the best way to go I'm actually gonna make a little graph even to kinda help you out on that one so for those of you who are visual learners I made just a quick little graph of colors here fast and light all the way down to slow and heavy you can you can honestly just pause it and look at this at any time you want super fast fur fur there is no armor whatsoever it's fast it's light broadside will almost kill you nothing special bermuda cedar mahogany See, it just gets a little bit stronger a little stronger a little stronger and then it gets down to the tankier stuff the things that are going to go super slow going to be a lot heavier now, any of these wood types, any of these builds, if you make it seasoned wood, any of it is all that's going to do is buff it a little bit more, make it a little bit faster, a little bit faster, a little bit stronger, all the way down to here to, to where it's going to be even tankier. That's all it's. That's all the seasoned really does. That's why it's more money. It's uh, just better woods all around. And if you want, notice right here, live oak, white oak to locust sabaku. You can do a live oak sabaku right here in the middle. That will be right. That'll go right between both of these. A little, little less HP, a little more armor. That's all that can do right there for you. That's good. If you notice one thing though, there is no oak logs being built. Nothing of oak this, oak that. There's no oak teak, teak oak, oak sabaku. Nothing. You just notice there's no, not even any oak in here. Oak logs are used for crafting ships. Do not build your ship out of the oak log for a frame or anything else. Do not use the oak log. It doesn't fit anywhere in here. If it did, it would be between shit and even worse. There is no reason to even use it. Do not waste your DLC ships using oak log. All right, so if you're new, you most likely have not heard of this website. This is the Netliffy map. That's what it's referred to by probably every game gamer in naval action is the Netliffy map. Go to the Netliffy map. This is a lifesaver for naval action. This is probably one of the most used websites for any player in naval action. It's just an amazing map. The creator of it is Felix Victor. A uh, great guy. I don't know what nation he is in. I don't know how much he even plays anymore. But he keeps this pretty well up to date. Great guy. He deserves all the credit. If you ever run into him, you need to thank him for creating this web page, this map for us. Because everybody uses it. Every, every player who knows of it uses this. And now I'm going to put uh, this down in the link. I will link this down in uh, below this in the YouTube channel so that you can open this up somehow. This is where you're going to go 
to compare your ships and your wood types. For any of you who are having problems deciding what woods to make your, your ships out of, this is where you come to test pretty much everything. This is where you come to compare it. So you're gonna click on this little button up here on the top right hand corner. I'm just gonna to go to ships, not woods. And I'm gonna show you compare. Let's do something such as, uh, I like the Pavel, but I'm not gonna do the Pavel. Why not just the boost and tour? We can just do a boost and tour. Uh, you know what, no, just Christian. Why the hell? You can compare three ships. So we're gonna compare three Christians. Now you don't have to do the same ship. You can even do Christians to an implacable if you really feel like anything, anything you really want. But I'm just gonna do it, show you for the wood types here. Uh, with that damn Christian Gray, here we go. And then you can actually compare with different permits. Uh, whatever ship trim, maybe you already got a ship and it's got a trim on it. Ship knowledge, this is where your books go. You know that perks. What we're gonna focus on are the wood frames. This is how you can compare them real quickly. Like I said, the usual, I'd say the one wood type that seems to still be used quite a bit other than the rare woods and or any really good builds is just that teak white oak or, or now teak sabaku. Now it's the teak sabaku. A lot of people do that. So what I'm, I'm just gonna do a regular teak sabaku here real fast. I'm gonna show you the difference because a lot of people use in seasoned and you being a new player, you probably don't have seasoned woods yet or if you do, you're, you know, they're expensive. But this is going to be the real difference. So let's find the difference between a season teak, season sabaku. Where the hell is that season sabaku? There we go. And why don't we compare that to the difference that you could be running into, which is, uh, let's see, what are we going to go with? Why not do, well, let's do a, let's just do a season teak, season white oak. See the difference in that one. Because a lot of people still use uh, season teak, season white oak as well. Uh, they probably shouldn't because that season teak season sabaku is going to be a lot in my opinion It's going to be a few a little bit better, but let's look at the difference right here. It's going to tell us the difference So it's based off these two are going to be based off of the difference on this first one teak sabaku That's your basic one and remember seasoned think of seasoned wood as uh, Basically the woods been hyped up on on steroids. It's just all around better it's better wood types. You're, you're going to get your, your basics, and then you're going to get much better than the basics. That's what the season does. Look at the difference in speed. Not not a huge difference between these two. And look, even that, even the season, those two not too much different in speed. 2% um, a little bit faster, but really the big percentage is down here in the hit points. 30,000, 4,000, almost 1,000 more hit points. And the whole 4%, 4%, that's just, see, that's a 1%. That's really, there's the difference between those two is the 1%. Thickness, thickness is important <laughs> in many different aspects there. 113 on a non-seasoned to 120. That is almost a whole broadside difference depending on what range you are at. These two ships going against each other at maybe even a little more than 250 meters this guy's probably going to have a lot easier time penning this one than this guy is this guy. 220. It's even thicker over here at 222. So 8% to 6%. That's all, this, that's all this is really going to show you on this map. You can compare everything. You compare different ships, different sizes. It's a, it's a great tool for all players in naval action. This is just the best tool. Again, thank you to Felix Victor for even creating this. At least, and if I'm wrong and if he has nothing to do with it anymore, I really hope somebody tells me, but I'm pretty sure he still is in charge of this tool. So this is where you can compare ships. It goes all the way down here to repairs. How many repairs will it use? Uh, rig, everything, cannons. It just shows everything on here. It's really a good, good tool. You can add perks. You can add mods on there, whatever mods you might be using. Other than that, it might also do woods. Wood types, you're just selecting the frame and the trim, which is something I guess I could go over. You do not want to make certain mistakes. I can click back on ships. Here's a lot of mistake people use, is they accidentally switch these. They switch these wood types up because they don't know what the trim is or what the frame goes on. Now, it's not a huge deal, but let's look at the difference. Teak Sabaku compared to a Sabaku teak. Let's just look at the difference. Things go down in the negatives. That's because you have them backwards. Now this is teak sab, sab teak. That's that's just showing you. You can have less hit points, less 1% less thickness. It's not a huge difference, but 
it's really it's just it, you you're doing the wrong thing here because here's the problem is the teak is usually what's going to be bouncing and the sabaku is where you're getting all your hp remember that sabaku and white oak are hp woods those are going to give you more hit points the teak is doesn't have very many hit points i think it just it doesn't it, it's more of a bouncer with a little bit of speed in it <laughs> Think of it that way. It just doesn't have the, the hit points. So you don't want to be putting that on the inside of the ship. You don't want that as your frame. You want that as the trim. Oh, let's go. You can and see you can actually see that when you go to the woods. Frame, trim. Well, that's where that's where you can compare those a lot better. So again, thank you to Felix Victor for creating this. This tool is a lifesaver for naval action for all you new players. This is where you need to go to compare your woods and your ships. And this will help you build better ships. So that you don't have that problem, even with DLC ships, the downloadable ships, this is where you should go to make sure you're doing it correctly. So that you don't have this problem of running into a player and they just destroy you and you wonder why. To wrap this up, I want to make sure that this video does not discourage those from getting into the uh, building portion of this game, getting into crafting ships themselves. I also hope that it does not discourage you from using non-craft or non-seasoned wood to craft your ships. Non-seasoned ships are still a viable option. They're not going to be as good as seasoned, of course. But even, I still sell some non-seasoned ships that do great. I have other people that I sell with that have non-seasoned ships, but those ships are crafted in good ports with good port bonuses. Uh, they've got good mods on them. Uh, th you know how to use them. That's what really what matters. They are cheaper. Seasoned wood is expensive, I understand. Uh, so don't think that you can't go out anywhere or do PvP or fight anybody in a unless your ship is seasoned. That's not the case. You can have good ships that are not seasoned. But if you have a DLC, a redeemable ship, guys, there is no excuse. That thing needs to be seasoned wood. I really hope this video helped you... Uh, um, learn a little bit more about the seasoned wood. I know it wasn't an in-depth on each wood type and uh, on each crafting of each ship and kind of thing, but I really do hope this will help the new players out there uh, select better wood for those DLC ships and or even the ships that if you are in crafting and you do have actual seasoned wood, you'll know what wood types go with uh, what wood types are going to help you help you out a lot more in the long run. So if you have any questions, please don't be scared to ask. This game is hard enough as it is. Um, ask in your nation chat. Send me a message. People are nice in this game. If you just ask them, they usually can answer your questions. But I really hope you did enjoy this video. Uh, I know I said it was going to be a fast one. It took a little bit longer than I thought. But uh, appreciate you watching it.